Topic 2023 was a lot of things, including the year Free the Nipple hit runways <laughs> and red carpets. Celebrities like Kendall Jenner, Florence Pugh, and Doja Cat all wore sheer dresses without bras. But a writer for Bustle says that as a large-breasted woman, it's her bra that makes her feel free. Huh. So it's huh. freeing the nipple only for small boobs. Ladies. No. Chelsea, I'll start with you. You know what's so funny? You know, Kim Kardashian came out with that new bra mm -hmm. that puts yeah. the nipples on the bra, yeah. which is one of the dumbest ideas I think I've ever heard about. <laughs> it's like, who? I didn't know hard nipples were, I mean, but but what's funny is my, I, my makeup artist in LA, she has very big boobs, and so she got a really big bra. So with big boobs and big boobs and hard nipples, something doesn't track. Like, it doesn't, <laughs> you're just looking at it, and she was wearing the bra to dinner, and I go, that looks so ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, like maybe hard nipples are better on smaller boobies. Like, I don't want to walk around with hard nipples all day, and I have big boobies. Yeah. <laughs> We're allowed to say nipples and boobies, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a, a complicated relationship with this story because um, I'm on my second set of implants, and um, <laughs> not, not ashamed to share it, but I always, I've been toying with the idea of taking them out, taking them out, taking uh -huh. them out. And there's, I'm like, oh, okay, yes, maybe no. And then I saw the one and only Jennifer Lopez on a red carpet this week. Did you guys I see saw that. this yeah. breastplate? And then I said, that's it, I'm taking them out. I need a breastplate. Because this what look, could, you, you could do not do. You, you could do a breastplate oh, with the boobs you have now. I think it's gonna be, like Chelsea said, is a lot. Yeah, it's there's gonna a, be a little lot too much extra. Like, it's very elegant when there's a little booby that comes on the bottom yeah, or just something. A little, but just when you a have little. a big booby, then but it's if like. If the nipple's coming down on the bottom, less so. No, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, no. Yeah, when you, the bottom of the areola. What? What do you mean? Mel, I am a, a, I hate to break it to you, but I got big, you know. Yeah. I have breasts. Wow. I have big, big, okay. big, big breasts. <laughs> and uh, I used to hate them until my partner Simon fell in love with them. And so, like, if, if it's free the nipple at home, he's like a baby who's like, oh my God, it's dinner. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's so in love with them. And I appreciate that. He's made me fall in love with them, too. But I get this. What, what this writer was saying is that free the nipple for me, it's physically not possible because I would be so uncomfortable. I would get, like, a, a rash from just gravity. Do you know what I mean? Ah. I don't know if... Yeah, you're like, what? No, I don't know. <laughs> like, so so it, I don't know if it's less about being size in inclusive because it's just, like, a physical, anatomical sort of reality. Ah. Mm. Like, it would be, like, a flat healed, flat-footed person being like, oh my God, I can't wear high heels. This is outrageous. Okay, you know, mm -hmm. I feel that But way. do you think every woman's relationship with her breasts is very specific and often doesn't no. have anything to do with the actual breast? For instance, mm -hmm. when I was young, I got breasts really early and really big, and I hated yeah. them. Like, I hated them. I hated that they existed. I, would wear I was just like, please take these things away. And then as I got older, I realized, like, there's an economy here. <laughs> I can capitalize on it. And then, you guys know, I had three sons, and they were just so south of Bloor. Like, could just go, like, right under the belt loops, just, like, come out the other side. So I did a reverse of Mel, and I had a breast reduction. And now, I love them again. So it's this, like, very specific mm -hmm. to love the nip, to hate the nip. I'm just, like, autonomy over your own chest. Yes. yes. You do Thank you. You, you. want to wear a plate, and they're hanging out the bottom? Wear the plate! Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Because I've had this conversation so many times where people be like, oh, I wish my chest was smaller so I could fit into these tops. I'm like, well, who told you that you couldn't wear these tops? The fashion industry, society, who's telling you that because you're a C, a D, a double D, a F, that you can't wear the top? Wear the top, it's about how you feel about your body. And if you like your boobs, I think women are so, our bodies are so over-policed, mm -hmm. yeah. right? What looks good, what top you can and cannot wear. And I went to the Usher concert and I ran into a woman who must have been like an M, an L, I don't know, they were just really <laughs> big. And she had on a full sheer top with no bra. And I high-fived her. I was like, girl, do it. Do it. Like, who said that you can't do it? Well, a lot of people say that we can't do it, but men for do some... But yeah, we're like, wa us walking around with our nipples out is like, some, you know, a taboo. When men are walking around with their nipples yeah. out all the time, yeah. we're, we could feed a country. Why are they... Why yeah. we should be able to... Thank you. To do whatever you want. Whatever size you are. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's good. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.